Hey guys, uh, I've had some feedback about people telling me that sometimes I, I speak too much about a specific topic, so I've decided to stop being uh, too redundant when I uh, make unboxing videos and stuff like that, which is why you may have noticed in the previous unboxing video I, um, I talked less and uh, tried to be more concise. So yeah, this is just something I'm trying for my new channel. If you agree or think it's a good idea, please leave me a comment. It really helps to know what you guys think of those videos. So now I've got a new unboxing video, except this time I have no idea what it is. So I'll let you check it out at the same time as me. Okay, so let's see what we got. Uh, as you can see, I'm improvising some sort of X-Acto knife here uh, because I forgot my knife again. I always forget my knife when I'm doing unboxing videos. Uh, so, let's see what this is. Honestly, I have no idea. I think it's a 3x3? Three three? Oh, I know what it is. Oh, perfect. I've been waiting for that one. Um, it's actually the 3x3 three three that was used in Paris. I, I figured, you know, since I didn't buy one over there, I should definitely get one for myself. And, uh, that's awesome. I didn't even know they had that Paris logo bag, uh, so that's great. And, uh, wow, that is really cool. I've got some Rubik's Speed uh, Cube sort of card, which is, that's, that's fun. It's nice. Um, and this is what I came here for. This is what I opened this for. I've been wanting to have it because, you know, again, as I said, I didn't get a chance to buy one in Paris. So I'm glad I'm getting one. Uh, also, I don't have any good speed cubes apart from the the MF3RS um, that I use all the time because it's just really incredible. Uh, but now I'm curious to see just how good this one's going to be. Because I saw so many people use it uh, in Paris. I even used it at some point and if I'm not mistaken, it was really nice. Uh, the turning was great. So, so let's see. This is, if I'm not mistaken, it's um, actually uh, a collaboration between Rubik's brand and GAN, which means this is actually a Rubik's brand speed cube. And wow, okay, wow, yeah. Okay, turning is really nice. Uh, straight out of the box, it has um, a sort of silky feel to it. The, the lubricant that was used isn't really liquid, it's more like a, a viscous... Um, uh, lubricant, uh, which is nice. I've, I've been using this uh, recently, uh, especially with uh, Oliver's uh, lube that he even personalized for me. Uh, so um, I'm, I'm starting to like that feel and I think it's, uh, it's a nice addition. Plus it's got tiles that are a really, really nice addition to the puzzle. I think it's a nice feel to it. It's, it's better, in my opinion, than stickers. Plus, these tiles are, are of uh, very high quality, so uh, let's see if I get a solve on this. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I am very slow. I'm not a speed solver um, at all. Like, I'm, I'm really not that great at speed solving. Recently, I've been trying to play with it a bit more uh, to, you know, increase my time. So, uh, let's see if I get my, my cube timer out. I've got it somewhere. All right. If it still works. Uh, yeah, it still works somehow. Uh, let's see what time I can get using my stack mat timer. Uh, So for information, I average around 30 seconds, uh, which is not incredible, but it's all right. So 2870, which is reasonable for a solve like that. I noticed that I screwed up a couple times during the solve, uh, so I'm going to try another one. Uh, plus, I mean, for, for those speed cubers out there, uh, you'll probably notice what I'm doing for every step. So you'll notice my method is a sort of... Uh, a cross between the beginner's method and 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 you know CFOP. So uh, so you're probably cringing right now, but uh, let's see. All right, second solve. All right. Uh, I'm training at the moment to try to get my um, my um, F2L quicker. Okay, I've done the F2O. Uh, going on to some 
oil out, peel out stuff, and I've got 2481, so that's great. Um, let me explain my method since, you know, this is actually the first time I actually show a speed cube on my channel. Uh, my method is actually an intuitive F2L followed by um, an orientation of the last layer, except when I orient the last layer, uh, what I do is I, um, I orient the edges first. Okay, let's, let's see if I have a, another situation. Okay, I, uh, ah, let's just do this. Okay, I orient the edges first, and then I take care of the corners. Uh, that's sometimes a two-step uh, situation, so it's, it's, I'm really bad at solving the, the cube, uh, to be honest. And then I solve, I, I do, uh, you know, the corner perm before doing the edge perm, so it's, again, another two-step uh, PLL situation. So, I'm not a good speed solver, but 2481 with a method like that is quite good. So yeah, my thoughts on this puzzle right there is, are, sorry, that it's really amazing. It's a great speed cube. I think the quality is crazy, especially for a Rubik's brand speed cube. And I think it's really good that they, um, they decided to, to partner up with GAN, because now we've got a Rubik's brand speed cube on the market, and we don't have to buy, you know, um, any others. Uh, it's, it's, it's nice to know that the Rubik's brand is actually going forward uh, with their designs. And uh, so yeah, I'm really glad I got that one. And I'm definitely going to be using it as my main cube from now on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, as always, uh, feel free to subscribe, like my social networks, I've got Instagram. And uh, I'm going to be opening a new shop soon, if I haven't already opened it and made the video about it. And um, yeah, uh, feel free to buy some uh, merch over there. It's it's it helps me. And plus, I've made uh, I've tried to make some funny T-shirts. So uh, feel free to check my shop out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.